On Wednesday, 28th of August 2024, one of the flagship initiatives of the Modi government, the Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana, the national mission for financial inclusion to ensure access to financial services like a basic savings and deposit account, remittance, credit, insurance and pension in an affordable manner, marked its 10th anniversary. PM Modi lauded the completion of a decade of Jan Dhan Yojana with a series of posts on social media platform X. Marking it as a momentous occasion, he said, and I quote, Jan Dhan Yojana has been paramount in boosting financial inclusion and giving dignity to crores of people, unquote. One of Modi government's first priorities was to bring the common man into the formal banking system. Prime Minister Narendra Modi introduced this scheme during his Independence Day speech at the Red Fort on the 15th of August 2014, shortly after assuming office for the first time. The scheme, designed to open bank accounts for the poorest citizens with zero balance requirements, had a nationwide rollout within the next two weeks on the 28th of August 2014. By the 14th of August this year, 2024, there were total deposits of over 2.3 lakh crore rupees, with over 53 crore beneficiaries. Nearly 30 crore of those beneficiaries are women. Over 35 crore of the Jandan accounts hail from rural or semi-urban areas. The percentage of households that have a bank account or a post office account is now almost the same in urban and rural areas, 95% versus 96%. The Jan Dhan Yojana has served as the platform for many people-centric economic initiatives like direct benefit transfers, COVID-19 financial assistance, PM Kisan Samman Nidhi payments, increased wages under the Mandrega and life and health insurance coverage for people as well. The scheme came in for global praise and recognition last year when a G20 report by the World Bank revealed that India has achieved its financial inclusion goals in just six years, a feat that would have taken 47 years without its advanced digital public infrastructure. The JAM Trinity, the Government of India initiative to link J for Jandan accounts, A for Aadhaar cards and M for mobile numbers of Indians to plug the leakages of government subsidies has paid rich dividends. According to a report by the State Bank of India in the year 2021, India surpassed China in financial inclusion metrics. The report also noted that states with higher Jandan account balances saw a drop in crime rates and reduced alcohol and tobacco consumption, highlighting the program's positive social impact. As of the year 2021, 78% of Indians over the age of 15 had a bank account which is 6% higher than the developing economy average of 71% and a significant increase from the year 2011 when only 44% of Indians had a bank account.